What's up, everybody? Good morning. I was going to start with low energy, but that would be ridiculous. It is not really about me. That's why my head's not in it. It's about these books. Um, I have my phone out, too, because I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be recording, going on TikTok, you know, letting everyone know about the live stream. Um, so just hang out. This is just going to be a hangout space. Um, not going to be doing too much. Maybe I should play some, uh, you know, I play some of my music in the background, but I'd probably get copyright struck, so. <laughs> because it's on, you know, it's on all the platforms and everything. So let's go ahead. Oh, let me tell you guys about this stuff first. Mm, but I want to record my Instagram video because I've been thinking about it. But um, basically all 14 of my books are here. You know, let's share this too. Mm. And of course, they're on sale, you know, just got a new shipment. So I wanted to, you don't really want a shipment of books just sitting around, you know? I don't, I don't want these. I love seeing them, I haven't seen them all. But truthfully, I don't want them. I want to send them out, you know? Um, it's funny, sometimes when I have my books for a long time, I'll just end up giving them away. It's true, it'll happen. These ones, it's not gonna happen with these ones, but there's a lot out there that people have just gotten for free. Maybe on a different show, but not on this show. This show is about you guys getting some books that are on sale, so. Okay, um, and it's an opportunity to give me some, give you guys some background on a few of these different ones. Um, so that's gonna be fun. But technically, the video inside of you, you're in the pre, you're in the pre lobby. You're in the pre, you're in the pre, whatever. You're in the pre, pre, whatever. I'm gonna go to like my group and stuff, all this stuff too. Um, share in a group. Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's go pre whatever. Okay. But anyway, um, Instagram video. Cause I wanna, what, what you wanna do when you wanna do it. Should I go live on Instagram? That's actually a good idea. Let's do a little video first. All 14 books. Air. I'm gonna try to do them in order. Let's see. I can do it in order in one minute, try on every book. So this is Ballerina. This is Times Library. Paperback. Hardcover. Those two are first, 2012. Then Ballerina came. But the hardcover is actually the second edition. Oh, this is a lot harder than I thought. Well, there's 14 books. Okay, here we go. Ballerina. Paperback. I'm not going to get to do all of them. I'm going to keep doing them all in order because um, I'm actually doing a live stream, which you can find if you go to Facebook. I'll upload it on YouTube later, but. These are the old ones, the newest new ones, but all of them. Um, yep. Oh, and you can get them online. Or I mean, you can get them, I'll send them to you. So if you want them. So that was kind of cool. You guys got to see how I do, uh, <laughs> how I do an Instagram video. All 14 books, I'm right in my Instagram thing right now. All 14 books, what is, uh, it's um, $11. Paper back. And 
it is $25 with hardcovers, which is a good deal. Um, and delivery is $5, guys. That's not outrageous, it's chill. And um, what else, what else, what else? Um, oh, if you want to get all 14, like you want, um, basically, you know, one of each of these, and I also painted all these covers, but if you want all 14, you can do that for um, 150 and you'll get all 14 and I won't charge you delivery, which is probably not a good idea. <laughs> I'm thinking actually, but I'm gonna do it anyway because it's not the best idea, but if you're gonna buy all 14, I think that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna do that. If you get all 14, you can get them for 150. It's a, it's a pretty big discount, but I think it's fair, you know. So anyway, so let's see. And you know, if you get all if you get all 14, you can you can resell them yourself. Um, I'm also doing thing. I don't know if I should bring it up. You guys want to know? I guess you probably want to know since I started the sentence. If you buy a hundred, you can get them for four dollars each. That's just for the paperbacks. So if you're like, hey, I want to start bending, I want to start selling stuff, it's just something that I just came up with. Like I've never done it before. So that's just something random. Anyway, um, and then it's, I said 150 to get to get. And you know, we can, we can talk, I can talk a little bit. I made these all on lulu.com. So don't think you can go to lulu.com and get them for cheaper. No, they're $11 on Lulu also, and they also charge shipping. So um, it would be the same if you go there. That's actually better for me, actually, to go to lulu.com. It's not really better for me. I prefer, because I want to I send these to you guys myself. Because if I send them to you myself, I can sign them too. And I will be signing um actually i'm not gonna sign them unless you tell me to because i don't know what you're gonna do with them so um so just per order i'll just send you an email and ask um 14. but um yeah just wanted to do this really quick this morning get this out here let everyone see help you guys enjoy your morning with just 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 a feast a feast of books um my cash app is kinyo dot org or you can um, email me for those of you who don't know what that means. We'll figure something out. You can email me at Kenya. Like, meet me at Walmart. I got a Western Union do the money, Kenya. That's the only way I know how to send money. I take Western Union. It's no big deal. Go down to HEB with my head held high. Be like, hey, they sent me money. <laughs> it's not a relative. I wonder if anyone, I think businesses take Western Union. I know some do. Boop. Shoot that out to Twitter. Some say, hey, don't share your email like that. Still need to do an Instagram stories. I'm still going to do a TikTok. And I'm still going to do, that's actually kind of it. Oh, it's not that. But um, let's talk about some different things. I said I was gonna get these books in order, so let's do it. I know that this is number one, Ballerina. This is also, I painted all these myself. So this is one that I painted. Um, it was on um, just a regular sheet of paper, it was small. I believe my friend Benny bought that painting. So this painting is was funny. So it, it actually came out I didn't paint it for this book. It was 
these two guys are the uh, Gilmore Guys. <laughs> the Gilmore Guys is a podcast. Um, <laughs> and uh, it was it's basically what got me into like listening to podcasts, and they're super duper funny. And um, I, you know, I discovered them when I was driving to Las Vegas, and I discovered them. Ever since then, I fell in love uh, with. That sounds a little bit too deep, especially since we're in ballerina suits. But I fell in love with the podcast, and so I started listening to it a lot. Um, and they do funny stuff with their fans, and people send stuff in. I got caught up in the, the who the hay of it all, and I, I painted them and um, actually sent them. I sent no, 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 no. Did I send them this painting? What did I do with this painting? I sent them a picture of it. I was I had intended to send it if they wanted it, but I don't think they ever said anything like that. I have to be honest. This is one of my best. The the shading on the faces, I actually really like them I in the the um the light, the way that the light and the shadows works on the faces. I need to find that painting. I think it's gone up right through there. Honestly, not like because I'm just hateful or anything, but just because, you know, life. All right, so book number two. I'm trying to figure out which one is number two. Let's see. I don't know which one is number two. Not off the top of my head. So let's see. I know I have it in my like a downloads reference thing somewhere in here. If you're watching this later and you're not watching it live, so I don't feel bad for anyone. Uh, I don't know that for sure, but um, if you're watching this later, you can just fast forward a little bit. Or you can hang out with me. I don't imagine you're doing anything extremely time sensitive. Um, though you may be. Though you may be. In fact, B. Okay, let's see. Let's dive in. Okay. So, okay. Ballerina was one. You know, for some reason I thought Forrest was number four. So this was first, second, hardcover. They came out at the same time, I think, but... Um, Forest is number two. Let's see, number three is this is a painting. This is probably one of my greatest paintings. This is a good time to do it in Instagram stories. This is the second book in the ballerina series. Forest. This is probably one of my best paintings of all time. It was actually much larger. Um, it was, this was four feet by four feet originally, and I just love doing the sunlight, the way the sunlight plays inside. Put that over there so you can see. Um, it's really cool. I actually want to do more of these where I just sit outside and paint nature and really get into it because you don't need to go beyond nature to see um, just some crazy, crazy, crazy science. So this was a great painting. I did all those leaves, all those leaves. Yeah, those are actually like relatively large dots. A lot of it was just leaves. I had like a, a whole day that was just leaves. And there were mosquitoes. This is right after I moved to San Antonio. So that's book two. Um, book three is Vitriol. Let me try to find that. That's this one right here. This was actually one of my first paintings ever. Um, yeah, it was part of a series of four. There's one with the black background. Also, and then there's two other ones, but um, series of four called Forgetting Cherry Blossoms. 
for which there's also a poem, which is not in this book, but it's on SoundCloud. So I'm going to go check that out, which is also one of my first poems that um, I recorded and put out. But uh, yeah, so this is number two. I'm going to keep going, though, uh, on TikTok, though. I'm just typing, going over some of the covers, my books. I guess I'd have to put the price in there too. I think this is my, I'm not going to put the prices in. That's too much. It goes to the post. You know what I should do though? I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put um, the info on my website, which is Kenya.org. Have I really been live for 18 minutes? My gosh, I must really like. I love. I must love these books because I am ready to talk about them. Um. I will put it on my um, on the book page on my website. So if you want to go to the book page at any time and you're like, oh, how can I get these books direct from you? Just get them from, yeah, you can get them from Amazon. That's cool. Or you can just cash app it directly to me. I know how to pay taxes. So uh, Amazon, don't think you don't know who can sell stuff. We all got access, access to taxes. Okay, access to taxes. I can tell you guys aren't enjoying my humor. No, oh, I can tell it, I can feel it through the camera. It's rude. <laughs> I'm just joking. I am just joking. All right, so that's now on the top of my books page. It's just a simple text thing. Um, like, my computer doesn't want to go to my website. It's actually a little weird. So if you're on computers. Hmm. Maybe you can leave that. It's kind of cool. All right, but it's on the, it has like this weird white text on it. And I was like, you know what? That's cool. I like it. I'm going to roll with it. Let's keep going. This is book number three. I'm gonna catalog this on TikTok. I'm gonna be going in on some other stuff pretty soon. This is the only time I'm gonna be able to do this today. Um, so I'm gonna go in right now and then break this stuff down. So let's go to number four. Um, I'm gonna make a TikTok. Um, so you're gonna notice a little ratchetness from me. I get ratchet on TikTok. I don't know what it is. I'm just joking. I don't get ratchet. But if I do, it's for TikTok. So anyway, this is book four. Um, this painting, um, and this is also the only cover where I did a little bit something different with the the text. You'll see I did like the duplication thing, and that one's actually not just um, white. It's yellowish and not yellowish. But um, the, this painting is one of my favorite paintings of all time. It is lost. Chalk it up to the game. It's um, it was about like this tall, this tall. I don't know how to two feet by one foot or something like that. Um, or two feet by like eighty. I don't even know. But um, it's a really cool painting. I actually painted this cover in Montreal. It was interesting. I went there for a week for my birthday, and I was in an Airbnb by myself. I was in a basement, which I never stayed in a basement apartment ever in my life. But, um, you know, it's the East Coast thing, and you can't do it in California because there's earthquakes, but you could do it on the East Coast. But, um, so I was staying in this really cool basement thing, and I was just like a shut-in, and one day I found this art supply store, and I went over there, and I bought a can, so I was like writing poems. I don't know what poems I wrote over there, but um, 
I, I um, got in the canvas and this painting, like it like flowed from me. Like, and for me, this was just one that I loved. I loved, I loved this white right here. It was kind of, because it was snowing, you know, and the snow covers the ground in this kind of way where it's like, it just looks interesting, you know, cause it's this white, but then this black is coming through. And it's just really cool. So that's kind of where these ideas were coming from for me. But this is book number four. Something about this is like my favorite book. It might be because I really like the number four. Ooh, oh man, I haven't even been showing you guys. So also the text for the different, um, I really went in on the titles for the different, the, the fonts. I'm a font guy, if you know me. Um, so that's one thing I did on the inside of these books. That's very unique too. They all have different um, fonts. And I kind of did something where I was trying to do something similar with this um, font that I do with this. I, I haven't read a single poem. My gosh. <laughs> well, let's read a little bit from Save Review. I'm going to read like the first eight lines. I know God. I see him every time I close my eyes. I don't think he needs me to save anyone, but I know he wants me to talk about him. You'll never know God by yourself before you can see him with your eyes closed. You have to see him with your eyes wide open. Before you can see him when you close your eyes, you have to see him with eyes wide open. You have to see him in men and women, in love and bad decisions, in pain and victory, in the morning and in every meal. And when you see God in every inch, then you'll have him to yourself. Don't mess up the merchandise. This is why I don't read it. If I read it, I'm gonna mess it up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess it up. So that's book number four. Shh, I'm letting my phone charge before I get on TikTok. Um, let's go to number five. Number five is <laughs> Great Days. Okay, no, I gotta do this one on TikTok. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this one. I'm going to do this story time. They do this thing on TikTok story time. I'm old, but I'm young, I'm hip, so I'm going to get into it. Um, let's see. We got 5%. Let's see if we can quarter TikTok on 5%. Oh, that's going to die. This is book number five, story time, you guys. This painting I actually made. Made this painting um, for Shia LaBeouf. Actually, you know what? I didn't make it for Shia LaBeouf, but I made it and then, can you get out of here? I made it and then I, I used up a whole, a whole. You guys, TikTok is not easy. TikTok is not easy. It's not easy. I'm doing a 15 seconder. Let's reshoot the whole thing. I want to do a 16 seconds. That's not good. 15 seconds is going to be long enough. Story time on how this painting went to Shia LaBeouf. Now let's tell the actual story. So I was a young guy. I painted this actually one day. This is a book of poetry, though. This isn't a painting. Anywho, yes, actual Shia LaBeouf. I painted it and uh, then one day I found out Shia LaBeouf's birthday was coming up. Sort of like cutting, you know, cause like the jump cut thing is like a thing in the, okay. So um, when I found out his birthday was coming, this is a big painting by the way, it's like really tall and wide and everything like that. I was like, you know, let me, and I'm doing a little live video here, but anyway, I was like, let me get this to Shia LaBeouf. It's his birthday, me and him are close. I watched Steven Stevens, so I sent it to him, found his address online, probably unreliable. But I did it, I sent it to him. Did I ever hear anything back? No, and that's fine. But that's the story. A little dramatic flair, you know, for TikTok. It's not really dramatic, it's me. It's, just, you know, it's my young me coming out. I feel comfortable with my homies on TikTok. Okay, we're moving. We're moving. I'm going to have talked about all these books. 
I'm going to post this super fast. I'm going to charge this actually. All right, well, that's charging. And before I post it, let's keep this going. So we're going to go now to book number six, which is Motherland. This is also one of my favorite paintings of all time. I did this early morning, one morning in a garage. Um, and it actually goes like this, but I put it on like this. But um, early morning, one morning in a garage. What did the font in this one look like? Oh, it's kind of cool. I did. I was doing a serif. I don't do a lot of serifs, so this is like a serif thing. But anyway, um, and it was just little lines. This is actually one of my favorite painting styles, and I want to do a lot more in this style. I want to do a whole body of work because there, each one is a line that I was blending, you know, and making the decision of what color and what direction to each line, and that was just very interesting, you know. And the way that it culminated is just beautiful. I did a couple in this style. Um, but yeah, it's number five. Let's keep this thing going. Sunset, another fave of mine. I did this, actually I painted this in a different house, um, but that was very close to the one I'm in very now, which is kind of interestingly, very interesting. But it's one of my favorite paintings, very simple. It was on a piece of cardboard called Sunset. I'm really fascinated. I love, I love, I like, I'm a sunset hunter. Honestly, if I could go out and hunt sunsets, I probably would do that. Um, I love, let me make sure I'm actually, I guess I can actually see stuff I'll show it to you. Let me go closer on this one. You can see all these covers online, but um, I love, I love sunsets. And I love the gold inside of tall buildings. You know, New York and LA, you get, you know, any building with a lot of skyscrapers, you get it a lot, but anytime I catch it anywhere, I'm just like, I love it. Um, so let's keep going. This is book seven. Let's go to book eight. Look at his profile. This is a painting I did um, just one night, actually. It was very fast. It was very small. It's like an eight by ten painting. It's just this flower. Was like, you know, I'm a flower. Flowers are beautiful. So this is another one of my favorite paintings. Um, nothing really with the story of one I did this, but this is book number nine. Um, I love it because the way the colors come out of the black, the way that they really pull out of it. Um, I also want to do more like this, actually. Definitely. Um, um, Air, book 10. Uh, I love this title. Probably one of my favorite titles. Left was also a very favorite title of mine. So it was Profile. Um, cool text on the inside. Let's read, some of, let's read this short one. Towards the end, even demons don't understand. They only live to prove that light will flourish. Get out of here. I'm not playing around. See, I can't read the, the poems because I damaged the books. This is book 11, one of my favorite paintings. This is actually something I painted. This is actually probably one of the first paintings that I ever painted with paint. <laughs> I say that because I've been, you know, drawing for years before I ever painted. And uh, so when I started painting, it was an interesting thing. So, but this is one of the first paintings I ever made. And I think there's a lot more to do with paint that we're not doing because it's an exploration of a lot of things. And um, we look at the, I think paintings translate information to us in such a special way because it is high definition of human action, you know? Like each stroke is recording from another angle, you know, an action that is purely, purely, purely spirit, purely human. So, um, so far we're at book 11. There's one more book. This is the whole ballerina series. If you take out the hardcover and you just do the paperbacks, this is Almost all of them. This is all but one. And the last one is one of my favorites. Um, let's get that one out here. I know what it is, so I guess I don't know. Keep. Here it is. I have a, this isn't all of the books that I got in the ship. I have some in my car ready to go out on a merch thing if I ever go. When I go selling. Um, 
Yes, Audacity. This is the 12th book. You know what? I'm going to get my phone, finish my TikTok post, and then um, I'm going to post it to Snapchat. And then I'm going to... There's nothing much to say about this one, but it's one of my favorite all-time paintings. I'm captioning it. How did I only get 1% of charge while it was over there? I'm just going to write story time. Sending the painting to Shia. He's probably not on TikTok, so I'm going to try to tag him. Sending a painting. Oh, don't lean on the merchandise. Uneven. Sending a painting to Shia LaBeouf. Yep, that's it. FYP for you. Well, and you know what? We're going to send this TikTok to Snapchat. Save me a little bit of time. But, um, well, that's posted. You have to click the click the upload while it's uploading in TikTok to get it to stop playing videos and just focus on uploading, which is its job. But yeah, this is the 12th book, um, Audacity. One of my favorite covers, just whipped it out one day. This is one of the few faces that I did painting where I, there was no reference. So it was just um, just whatever was in my head at the time. Um, and it's kind of pretty close to the, like a face that I'll just do when I'm just doodling. It looks like there's no eyebrow there, but anyway, this is one of my favorite poems. One of the only poems where I did in this kind of style. Outrage, 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 outrage. I'm ready to yell with you. Are you ready to build with me? Because I'm also outraged, 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 but I also have ideas and I see that you have energy. So let's take, let's take swords and kill the outrage, outrage, outrage. Let's kill the outrage. If we're outraged, let's kill it. Do not harm people. But yes, so these are all 12 books in the Bowery in the series. If you want all 14, this is what you'll be getting. We'll get the Times Library in it as well, which is thicker than the other paperbacks, because these are about 32 pages each. Audacity was pretty long, but um, it's about the same as Times Library. Times Library is longer than both of them, though. Um, and then Times Library from Ballerina. Ooh, hoo, hoo. So these are all the 14. Wait a second. That's 15. Well, you get all 15. Which one can I not give you since I said 14? <laughs> you'll get all 15. I'm not changing the text though. But yeah, you'll get all of these for 150, um, which is a super cool deal if you get all of them. Um, yes. Ew. I think I'm done with this live stream, so I will see you all later. Thank you so much. Uh, I just wanted to make you aware that, you know, all these cool books are here. And uh, I'm going to organize these, organize myself, and go on about my day. See ya.